Well, good morning. It's me again. Do you think? Anyway, today's video is about this old girl behind me. Now, if you follow me on this channel, you see I've made a short on this. Now, this this uh, Zeta six seven one eight has been on a farm since new. Now, kindly the farmer has donated it as a channel because uh, nothing on the channel, and uh, he's donated it to it now. I don't know what to do with it. Now, I've got a couple of options. One I'm thinking about is removing the cab because the cab is shot completely. Now, I and mean, then use it as a tractor. Then, then I speak to people and they go, well, it's too nice a cab though, Rob. I said, yeah, but it's like a green ass. He said, yeah, but the inside of it is rotted out completely. Now, Another person said to me, well, why don't you set it for spares then? Could do that, but then I have to have people come round and so kick, tire kick it and that sort of thing and say, well, you know, it's an old engine and all that sort of thing. Well, then again, I'd rather keep it and not have all that aggro. Or shall I set it as a whole and then put the money towards making more videos? To say, because all this camera equipment don't, cook, don't come cheap and... Uh, yeah, make no money on the channel. But anyway, we get on with it anyway. And uh, we do a will it start, because it ain't been started in 10 years. At least 10 years, you can see the grub on it. The farmer used to use it to chop his logs. It was an orchard. And uh, when the orchard went, he used to cut all the trees into logs and sell the logs. Anyway, enough of me gambling on there. Hope you enjoy the video. And uh, much appreciate you coming along and sit watching it. So we get on then? Cheerio for now. Right, as you can see, new battery. Well, where's me doing? Now I've got a set of Lucas keys, which I think works, not certain. If that fails, second key. If that fails, drop a gas. We all like a bit of gas. Let's so say, what we do first, we're Put the camera on my head. We're checking it's got any water and oil and that sort of thing of it. Like I say, it ain't been touched in a long time. So let's get on, shall we? Good girls. Right. Let's see if we can find that dipstick, shall we? Oh, oh dear. Where's the engine? No radiator cap on. That's not a good sign. Let's have a look, see. Let's get a torch, shall we? Have a look, see if there's any water in there. Hello, Tilly Dog. Dusty Dog and Tilly Dog with me today. Oh. Well, I don't think you can see that. Bit of it has got water in it. And it's got water in it. So that's a good start. Well, maybe. <laughs> if it ain't cracked the block, that is. Right, so where's this dipstick then? Where's the primer pump? Oh, it's got a compressor on it as well. Where's that dipstick? Anyone see it? It's got a screw. Perhaps that's it down here. That screw. Let's get a screwdriver. Let's take that out. Just check this side. No. All right, screwdriver. It looks like there's the door for it down here. 
alongside it's an old plough, old cultivator, and a single furrow plough. Right, Let's see if this uh, is the dipstick. No, nope, screwdriver screw ain't coming out. So, and I can't see any more oil, well, apart from on the floor and everything else. No other dipsticks here. No, I should imagine that is it, but it's not, not unscrewing. Right, let's carry on anyway, shall we? Let's take it as red. Oh look, new exhaust on it. And a funny top bit up there. Do you see it? Right. Loads of water anyway. So let's see if it's moving anyway. Oh. oh. Fan belt's not moving. Oh, it's moving. Air filter. Right. Let's stick the battery on, shall we? Well, I don't know if you can hear me, but it's the first time me using one of these head cam things. And to be honest with you, I don't like it. <laughs> right, find some spanners. Right. What we got here? Right, what is it? There's the earth. So, shall we chant it and say that's the uh, positive earth? No, I don't like this head cam. Take me off. Right, so I'll get this battery in here. Go inside and see if I can start on the key. As you can see, well rotted out inside. All the old stuff that the farm used to have there. Looks like a, another battery container is out there. It's dusty. You're right there, darling. Let's have a look, see what we got. Oh. Right, we seem to have two levers on the floor. A load of uh, stuff there. I think that's the drive belt for the uh, machine on the back, which I'll show you shortly. Now then, now do you think that's the forward and reverse gear and that's neutral? I would say so. That looks like the throttle and there's the key so let's find a, a key oh, accelerator clutch right no number one option's not working Right, let's give it a little bit of rev, so as you can see inside it's well and truly done. The cab, that's what I said about taking the cab off and just have the tractor as it stands. 
We'll see. Let's have a look outside, shall we? Right, key number two. You can see the starter metal's just there. Let's see if I can uh, get some, see if it turns over. Oh, we've got a spark. Right, starter metal works anyway. Turns over. Now, how am I doing this wrong? <laughs> oh, hey, hey, right. Let's give it a puff for the old uh, easy start, shall we? I don't know where it's not an actual roll, so I'll just stick it. Willy nilly, bit everywhere. That's a good start, though, isn't it? Eh? <laughs> bit more res, I think. Let's give it a bit more res. Right, see how that goes. Another go, shall we? Another go, shall we? Whoa. Whoa, there you go, I've got to get some more advice on it, because I don't know how to put it in gear, trouble is being in here, getting smoked out as well, and uh, see it's got practically new rear tyres on it, big brakes in the back, it's just that, uh, it's just seen better days. Be a shame to 
put it in a scrap lead, wouldn't it? It's been converted to an alternator, as you can see. Yeah, don't know what to do. Whether to sell it as a whole, part it, or keep it. Let us know in the comments what your thoughts are. And if anyone's interested in perhaps in buying it even, let me know. Send me a private message or whatever. Anyway, enough of that. Thanks for coming on. Do appreciate it. And uh, it's always nice getting comments. And, and I passed some gentleman the other day. He was on his foursome. And I was driving past in my old truck. And he shouted out and waved to me. And it made me so warm in the old art screens. You know what I mean? So, if you ever come across me, have a stop, have a chat, shake my hand, and uh, always love to talk about old tractors, you know me. Anyway, enough of me. Cheerio for now.